Today's video is sponsored by Vincero, who wants you to look your best. Vincero makes the best watches and sunglasses that you can afford and look classy. Products built to last and loved by many 30,000 five-star reviews towards these products. Just like this Apex Rose Gold and Black. I just got it. It looks so good, you're just gonna stare at it at different times in the day. Not to mention the sunglasses right here. My mom likes them so much, she adopted mine. Vincero is celebrating their seventh anniversary, which in turn means this is their biggest sale in Vincero history. Take advantage and copy something that looks nice and feels nice and doesn't break the bank. Go to VinceroCollective.com slash Spooky7 and copy yourself something that fits you. As soon as you check out, you got 30% off automatically, plus a five-year warranty and a 365-day return policy. It's too easy to look clean. VinceroCollective.com slash Spooky7. Get yourself some gear, 30% off automatically, plus a five-year warranty and 365-day return policy. Thanks for Vincero for sponsoring today's video. Here we have Death Bell 2 Bloody Camp. Don't worry about Death Bell 1, it don't exist right now, it's not even related. This movie is very similar to both Danganronpa and 13 Reasons Why. Students trapped in a school by a murdering mastermind and they only get to leave if they figure out why they're locked in in the first place. Check. We learn the truth behind the suicide of a student two years prior and how other students have caused the suicide. Check. You can find this movie on Tubi. Oh, and uh, I want to apologize if I sound obnoxious or anything in this video. That's not my intention. You want to see what happens, including all the messages up parts stay tuned for the breakdown cue to go high The movie begins with a 100 meter dash. The winner is Chong Taeyoon. The swimmer celebrates her win with her geeky stepsister in the crowd. So remember these two characters, okay? Taeyoon and Si-hee, two stepsisters. It's an excellent transition to the present day. Now, my first watch, I thought this was Taeyoon, but it isn't. She is the girl who is second in the race. Sometime after this picture was taken, Taeyoon is murdered by Pierce. Her spirit attacks this girl in the pool late at night, making her presence known rather than simply trying to harm her. So, this is the last time we see the spirit of Taeyoon until the end of the movie. They don't mention it at all, but two years pass after the death of Taeyoon. Everybody is taking a test. Test taking in schools in South Korea or Japan seem more stressful than finals in college. Maybe it's just like a drama or a TV thing. A clumsy new teacher pops in the classroom like a noodle head. I'm surprised nobody bust out laughing. Not even a laugh starter. The guys who would verbally say, Pfft just to induce laughter. This is Si He, and she was the one having the nightmare of Taeyoon getting murdered by a ghost. Bleeding all over a test, the clumsy teacher assistant named Miss Park wants to take her to the nurse, but test taking in his school is strict. You can't leave. Miss Park gets overwhelmed by the Korean version of Mr. Diktovich from Spider-Man 2. Instead of rent, he wants her attention. Miss Park is a new teacher and is nervous in front of her students. She's put to the test immediately when kids are passing pictures. I didn't realize y'all kids were so bad down in good old Korea. Feel like I'm watching To Sir With Love or that movie with Morgan Freeman where he used to be Crazy Joe before becoming Batman. Here is Si He who is bullied by Ji Yoon often. From here on out, Ji Yoon will be known as Bully Girl. Si He is basically Max Caulfield except she's a brat. Summer break is about to start soon, but the top 30 students in the class are basically going to be in a summer camp where they can study for their university entrance exams. That sounds so stressful. University entrance exams. <laughs> the top 30 are basically the super high school level students in the school who all have little common sense. Yes, yeah, see, you're going to stop looking like you stop looking slow. You're smart. It's tough at home for her, especially since her stepsister is dead now. She has nightmares about her sister's death, ones where her sister is a creature and dies, etc. Soon, the top 30 students make their way to the school for their summer camp. Of course, one of the teachers they must speak to is a pervert that asks the ladies weird questions, hence the face she makes in response to his weird questions. Oh yeah, this student is basically the Manetta of the story. Earlier, he was taking pictures of girls during swim practice. I actually knew a guy that used to do stuff like that at work. 
weirdo. Cue in the study montage where all the kids commit their brain power to getting in college. All the studying y'all doing is very unhealthy. I'd rather fail a test than do all that, but that's the pressures of university entrance exams, I suppose. People don't realize that Si He was the stepsister of Taeyoon, the girl who won the 100 meter dash and was killed later that night. This random girl is telling insensitive ghost stories about her right in front of Si He. Velma doesn't like that and leaves after voicing her anger. She goes to the bathroom and takes pills and immediately starts falling into an urban legend. Hair growing all over her and then blood falls on her like Carrie. Turns out it was just a hallucination because she didn't take her pills right away. I'm gonna tell you this right now, she feels guilty. This is why she didn't want any insensitive rumors to be spread. Meanwhile, this woman here is the swim coach. She's also there at the summer camp. The pervert teacher sneaks on her. At this point, I genuinely think he's not going to be a killer, but he's a weirdo who should have been fired ages ago. Soon, the coach goes to the shower, thinking Mr. Pervert is stalking her again. The lights get shut out, and somebody shines the light in her face before slamming her head into the glass. First victim is the swim coach. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you know, now that I realize that, I didn't, I didn't put this in the script but there's no reason why she should be dead. This student right here is the girlfriend of JK. JK is the wannabe rapper whose name is retroactively short for Jujutsu Kaisen, an anime I've never seen before. They agreed to meet up someplace secret to do what high school couples secretly do, but he's nowhere to be found in this dark, scary hideout. In fact, she's grabbed hella hard out of nowhere by him wearing a mask, and then they do the dirty. Mr. Pervert, that weird teacher, leaves like he said he would to, this, to his teachers. He said he would leave. And so, he effectively locks all the students in the school with a killer. You never ever see this man again for the remainder of the movie. His only purpose was to be a weirdo and lock the students in unknowingly with a killer. Meanwhile, that killer has kidnapped that girl and is stitching her all over basically torture. This is the girl that was doing the dirty with JK. Students have all fallen asleep while studying. Y'all study harder than university students and y'all are trying to get into university. Regardless, they all wake up soon to discover things are all weird. Above this girl, she notices blood has been leaking from the ceiling. A body drops down below. A male voice goes on the intercom in a panic. The mastermind says students will die one by one. Cap. <laughs> Only the students who figure out why they are being hunted will escape alive. Sounds like a job for Detective Spooky. Backseat Detective. <laughs> Psych, you thought? <laughs> this mystery could be solved by Abbott and Costello. Not to mention the mastermind doesn't give the students any chance to figure out the mystery, other than solving fake saw traps to get guilty people out of the traps. Like, who cares? They're guilty. The student that was hanging dies when she finally falls to the ground. All of the students run out of the exit. Motherfuckers just going crazy down the steps. Well, the students are all locked in. Each and every door is locked. Miss Park promises the students to figure out what's going on, but then a video feed shows a body lying in the hallway. That's JK. Someone at the end of the hallway is on his motorbike, which has been fitted with spikes. JK has to run, but the killer clips him. He is killed after that spike hits him many times, repeatedly just slicing him back and forth like that girl from Hostel 2. This is the best scene in the movie, hands down. Suddenly out of nowhere, the other teacher, Mr. Cha, comes and wonders what is going on. They can't leave because Mr. Pervert had the keys before he left. There are no signals to call for help and they are locked in. Rumors are starting to spread that the ghost of Taeyoon, the girl who died after winning that 100 meter race is killing everybody because ghosts can definitely drive bikes and slam heads into walls. Now I'm gonna call this guy right here, Yusuke Urameshi. He knows that no ghost is causing all of this because he's the spirit detective. <laughs> Suddenly though, Velma starts to feel ants all over her and stabbing herself all over with a pin. That's not gonna get rid of ants. She starts frothing at the mouth and throws up blood before dying. I don't like seeing death like that. Turns out she ate the wrong medication. In other words, a killer planted the wrong pills and it killed her when she didn't take the correct pills. Soon Yusuke accuses Mr. Cha. You do look mighty suspicious Mr. Cha, 
but if it is him, I don't think he's doing it alone. So now we are going to get into the backstory as to how see he our main character, met Taeyoon, her stepsister and the swimmer in the beginning who died. They are stepsisters, so they met how you would expect new siblings to meet, Drake and Josh. But see he won't even be nice to her. She doesn't want anybody to know they are sisters. Why are you being a brat? Why? Taeyoon is a very popular girl at school. She's a very good athlete. She's very nice. But for some reason, you don't want to be sisters with her. And this is very inconsistent with Si He because she obviously wants to be popular. That's going to be said later down the line. Turns out Si He actually hated her new sister. Now she apparently hates her even more because she feels guilty. I don't know. You're supposed to say, I wish I would have loved her, not I hate her even more. I hate you. Bye, you're not the main character anymore. Taeyoon is. Mr. Cha, Miss Park, and the students seemingly get the lights back working. However, it was booby trapped and the students get shot at with nails. Apparently, Bully Girl leaves her room to talk to Mr. Cha for some reason. She mentions to Mr. Cha that all of the victims that died so far have something in common. They were all at a specific place at the same time where something went down. Mr. Cha had to have been there too because he tells her not to mention it again. I repeat, Mr. Cha and Billy Girl know all about something that might be the catalyst for the school lockdown massacre. And Billy Girl mentions that someone else knows about it too. We flash back to two years ago. She gets a text message in class of a dead body. It was sent by Manetta. Oh, you're so ugly right here. Don't, no, 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 no. He's a pervert, but he's taking pictures of dead bodies and is using it to blackmail the killers rather than turning it into the police. I'm gonna tell you right now, this dead body is Taeyoon, the swimmer and stepsister of Si He. Bully Girl has something to do with her death. Everybody who has died so far has something to do with the death of Taeyoon. Now, this is my problem with the mastermind. Why are you trapping all of these innocent kids, scaring them half to death, scarring them for life, when the wide majority of them have nothing to do with Taeyoon's death? We know that's what you're doing. You're trying to avenge your death. And you would think C. He would be behind all this, but no, it's not. Don't worry, we'll find out who it is later. In the present, Mr. Cha goes hunting for Mineta. Why were you gonna kill Mineta? Just let the killers do it. He was about to kill Mineta because he knows about the event from two years ago. But then he realized Mineta had already been mortally wounded. Mr. Cha is kidnapped next. Guess he wasn't the killer after all. He was probably paid off by the kids who did kill Taeyoon. Students are alerted to Mr. Cha and realized he is trapped. They need to enter a code to get him out of the saw trap. And the code is sprung on various images. Each of these images are actually the killers of Taeyoon running from the scene of the crime that were photographed by Mineta. Long story short, the code is spread out on all the pictures and it makes an anagram, but they end up being too late to enter it anyway and Mr. Cha dies. Do we care? Not really, right? Mr. Cha starts burning to death before exploding in front of the kids. Whatever the case, the killer is someone in the building. The bully girl is separated from the kids because she thinks the killer is after her next. Everybody that has something to do with Taeyoon's death is up for grabs. Now we will finally figure out what the hell happened. Bully girl confesses to Miss Park who runs after her worried. All the students who were killed so far used to be in a study group. They were the usual annoying classmates who people would consider popular, but really have no substance. Well, while they were drinking and being idiots, Taeyoon is showering after she got done practicing for the night. Kind of like how the rapists influenced Matthew and I spit on your grave, the other students influenced this idiot to rape Taeyoon. But Taeyoon's power level is far above this fuckhead right here. She kicks him off. They threaten her. If she tells the police, then their powerful parents, prosecutors, will throw the case out. Bully Girl gets a well-deserved slap in the face. A nice juicy slap that a lot of people need today. That was a nice ass slap. But Bully Girl kills Taeyoon by slamming her head into a faucet. Look, if you know me long enough, you know I don't say the B word, especially towards women. 
but bully girl is the biggest bitch of 2021 bullied sexually assaulted and killed someone kept it a secret with her little clique and then had the nerve to keep bullying the stepsister of the girl she killed knowing good and well that they are stepsisters and now she all scared <laughs> <laughs> this reaction you had right here is the reaction you should have had when you killed the girl in the first place and then you should have called the police on yourself. She tells the whole story to her teacher Miss Park but suddenly Miss Park is no longer the nervous clumsy teacher. She speaks with conviction asking why did you do this? Why are you saying this now? Miss Park was the mastermind all along. Miss Park is the mastermind who let herself be known to the students. She gives all the students 10 minutes to open a safe with the phone inside to call the police. If they don't open the safe within 10 minutes, they all die. Yusuke, Hiei, Kurabara, and Kurama all rush towards the auditorium to stop the mastermind. The mastermind was helped by the, the real mastermind. His name is Jung Boom the boyfriend of Tae Yoon. In a flashback to the day of her death, we learn that Bully Girl tries to frame the boyfriend by sending him a text from Tae Yoon's phone saying she is breaking up with him. Here is them being photographed by Mineta to use as blackmail later. So he discovers his dying girlfriend. She's not dead yet. He is at the wrong place at the wrong time. Witnesses think he killed her. The students who really had a hand in killing her frame the boyfriend even more in their interviews, saying stuff like, yeah, Taeyoon, she was flirty with the boys. Yeah, she, uh, I, I would kill her. I would kill her for breaking up with me. That kind of bullshit. Fuck off. And just like that, the boyfriend is falsely convicted and sentenced to a mental facility. His mom and sister cry as he is taken away. His sister is the teacher, Miss Park, and his mom, she dies from the grief. Miss Park's role is over. She walks out of the auditorium crying about it, only to get knocked the fuck out by Yusuke and the spirit people. I mean, it, even if you got out of the building, you know you're gonna get arrested, right? You admitted you were the mastermind to all of the students, and then you just expected to walk out nilly-willy? No. No, ma'am, you're gonna go to jail, even if all these kids die, because guess what? You were one of the teachers meant to watch over these kids, and cops can put two and two together. That's why this whole waste of time plan to kill like five people was so dumb. Might as well just kill them all secretly, instead of doing some dang Europa shit to a whole class expecting to walk away crying. Sorry about that. But you don't see Miss Park after this at all. The remaining kids all go to the gym to get the phone out of the safe to call the police. But guess what? Bully Girl is in a saw trap. At the other end of this contraption is a key needed to open the safe. But in order to get that key, they need to pull it towards the safe, which in turn hangs Bully Girl. All right, smart ones, let me, let me get you near the truth. Let me show you how to do it. Take the fucking key, open the safe, then take the key out of the safe and let the key go. Therefore, Bully Girl is saved. But Spooky, what if they couldn't take the key out of the safe? Well, if that was the case, Rom, they need to speak up and say so. They didn't even try. They just watched her suffocate. Hell, even when they get the phone, they realize it was a waste of time anyway because they can't use it. So, Jung Bum lights fire to the entire school. Luckily, the students find some axes to break the locks and use makeshift explosives to blow the doors down. Funny how y'all are only getting that idea now. This is the smartest thing y'all done so far. The students escape, but see he is missing. Her ass went down to the pool area thinking about her failures of being a good sister. She imagines situations with her sister that should have happened but the mastermind comes to see her too. Remember, they know each other because this was her stepsister's boyfriend. So why does he want to kill Si He? He asked her if she was a part of her murder and turns out she may have been. Two years ago, Si He was an errand runner in return for being noticed by this popular clique. In fact, Si He saw that they killed her stepsister, but they tell her don't say anything about it or else she won't be recognized by us popular kids anymore. You'll go back to being a lame student. See, 
go to fucking hell. Who the fuck does that? Because this is the thing. She did that. She did what they say, but guess what? Two years later, she's still being bullied by them. You saw these kids had killed your sister and they got you being quiet about it because you want to be popular too or something? No, don't do this, y'all. If you're in high school, college, work, do not, do not kiss your peers' ass to get in with them for any reason. Personally, I'm mad at the filmmakers for not explaining this enough. Like, even in this scene, you don't know for sure that he, he saw her sister dead or not. The chronology in this movie is so annoying sometimes. They both push themselves into the pool with the metal weight. Luckily, two students come and save the day, but struggle to unlock the lock. Well, lucky for C. He, a ghost from the past comes to save her. This is Taeyoon, aka Muzan, aka Billie Jean's lover. Taeyoon transforms into how she was and saves her sister from beyond the grave by unlocking the metal thing holding her down. The movie ends as C. He floats towards the surface, and the mastermind Jung Bum and Taeyoon swim off into the afterlife. This is personally my least favorite Korean film we have done so far. This mastermind's plan to imprison students who most of all have nothing, no idea or nothing to do with the real killers is so weird and forced. And then why kill all the students? Why did they threaten to do that? Why burn down the school? Most of them just came to study for the test. If they killed all them kids, they would have been 500 times worse than Bully Girl and her little bully friends. Overall, this film felt forced a lot. The mystery is easily solvable by Scooby-Doo midway throughout the film, and the masterminds could have came up with a way better plan. This wasn't L or light tier at all. It was dog water. It was not bussin' bussin'. Let's talk about the most disturbed moment and most enjoyed moment, and that's spooky stuff. Most disturbed moment is Taeyoon's death. I don't think people realize how easy it is to die, especially in just your any random bar fight, school fight. But that shows why you can't be messing around with people nowadays. Now Taeyoon was alive for a while after she hit her head, but these fuckers didn't even call the police at all. All of this could have been avoided. Most enjoyed moment is the death of JK. It was the coolest part of the movie that functioned like a Danganronpa execution. And this is your cue to go watch some Danganronpa if you uh, don't have anything to watch. You can watch Cub Scouts or Belize's playthrough and you'll get like 90% of the references I make on this channel. And that's it, Death Bell 2. It's on Tubi, it's not my favorite, but that's just me. It's okay, I still liked it. Here on the left is The Cat, a great little horror movie with a nice little ending. I love that movie actually. If you enjoyed this video, Hope you liked it. Like, click the like button and subscribe to stay tuned for more messed up stuff. Thanks for watching. Spooky out.